other day. Ah, Timmy's so asleep. Haven't heard it. Better give me mine. I thought we'd all have breakfast together. I have to go downtown. Today? Ruskin wants to see me. I'm going to stop by St. Francis on the way to offer a prayer of thanks. Toast? Yes. All those casualties, and he never got a scratch. We're very lucky. What do you want on it? Marmalade. The Freeman boy's dead. The Mullen boy crippled for life. Makes you wonder. I think he enjoyed the party. He seemed to. First time I ever saw him take a drink. He drank too much. You don't get out of the army every day. He was sick during the night. Probably the excitement. It was the whiskey. You should have stopped him. For three years he got along fine without me telling him what to do. He's, he's not in the army anymore. It was a boy that walked out of here three years ago. It's a man that's come back in. You sound like a recruiting poster. You sound like to repeat the old mistakes. Mistakes? No, pardon me. You said mistakes. Slip of the tongue. I'd like to know what mistakes you're referring to. I'd really it was, like to know. It was a boy that walked out of here. He was 18. Until that time, he showed no special skills for anything, but uh, you treated him like he was a protege. I think you mean prodigy. <laughs> what I really mean is baby. For a baby, he certainly did well in the army. I didn't say he was a baby. I said you treated him like one. You were surprised he did well. You didn't think he'd last a week. Plus, it's the same as Mrs. O'Day. Do you know why you were surprised? Joy, Joy, said Mrs. O'Day. Because you never understood Mercy, him. Mercy, said old Mrs. Mercy. I never, I never doubted he'd do well as anyone else. Where he's concerned, you never doubted, period. If he came in here right now and said he'd fly, you'd help him out the window. If you're saying I have confidence in him, you're right. And why not? Who knows him better? Give this more confidence. Yeah. Yes, exceptional. In what way? I refuse to discuss it. You know, a person is going to be famous. They usually drop a few clues by the time they're 21. I didn't say famous. I said exceptional. What's the difference? You wouldn't understand. Here's something you better understand. You can't treat him as though he'd never been away. He's not a kid. If you had stopped him from drinking last night, would that have been treating him like a kid? This is where I came in. He was trying to keep up with you, and you knew it. You sound jealous. So busy drinking, I hardly paid attention to anyone else. You're jealous. Don't be absurd. He and I got along better yesterday than we ever did before, and you're jealous. <laughs> Can't rest and wait till Monday. No, and don't be too disappointed. What a charming little breakfast you and me will have together. You're welcome. My ears are burning already. <laughs> I never said a word against you, and you know it. Don't forget my excursion to Montreal. It was always your actions that turned him against you. And the convention. Don't leave that out. Curtains? <laughs> but Timmy's room. I don't know a thing about curtains. Yes, you do. I do not. That'll be ten dollars. What's the matter with the old ones? They're worn out. They look all right to me. Well, they're not. <laughs> ten dollars for curtains. Timmy will want to bring his friends home. Wheels, please play. Are you going to give me the money? I gave you fifteen yesterday. That went for the party. Uh, that party cost close to a hundred dollars.